Howdy guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Antitay, if you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back. All right guys, today is the sought after video you guys have been all asking me for, which is, do you really not need a mat? Okay, I just threw that and that's like a brand new mat and I'm like, no. Okay, so anyways. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use Glitter HTV. Now, you guys can use regular HTV, which is also the same as vinyl. Glitter HTV is also the same as glitter iron-on. Scratch that, it's not the same. Glitter HTV is the same as glitter iron-on. Easy Weed HTV or HTV is the same as iron-on. Okay, are we on the same page? But you can also do this with vinyl. You can also do this with glitter vinyl. You just have to set the machine at the setting of whatever the cut setting is for that product. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. That's all you gotta do. But I did know, notice that when the maker came out, they moved the wheels wider. So you can still do this with the maker, but you have to use more product. So I'm gonna show you on the Explore today. If you guys want me to show you on the Maker, let me know and I will do that as well. So what we wanna do is we wanna cut a roll and I'm gonna use Cricut's Glitter HTV. However, I did just finish, I'll grab it when it's cutting. I did just finish testing Caesars, which is what we carry and it cuts just fine. So I'm gonna use Cricut's to see if it works on Cricut's but the goal is you have to cut it to 13 inches to make sure it's the size of a mat. So I'm gonna use my trimmer tool. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to, if you didn't know, this thing opens up like this so that you can measure and I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go all the way to the 13 inches because that's the actual width of a Cricut mat or any mat actually. There's other mats on the market too. You don't have to buy Cricuts, but it's, um, they have their mats work with their machine, obviously. Okay, so let's go to 13. But again, this technology is not new, it's just not known. And if you have any of the Silhouette series, they also can cut without a mat and are not afraid to talk about that. So we're using HTV, so I'm gonna make sure I put it upside down, okay, face down. So you mirror anytime you're using HTV or iron on. If you guys want me to do a video on what's the difference between HTV and iron on, it would be 30 seconds because I'd say they're the same thing. And if you want me to do a video on what's the difference between HTV and vinyl, I can do that as well. That's a little bit more complicated. But, um, so I'm going to make sure that it's shiny side down, just like you would use on a mat. So normally we would lay this on the mat, right? So instead of doing that, we're just gonna put it in the machine. But what side's my longer side? So this is gonna be like probably 12 by 13. I gotta make sure the 13 inch goes in this way. Um, you can do it with your 12 inch, 12 inch width vinyls and things like that, but there's more room for error if you do that because the wheels are only holding it down with the two light gray rubber wheels. We want it to go all the way to those dark gray rubber wheels so that it has more security and it's being held down by four wheels instead of two. The maker tried to get smart and move those out and eliminate two of those wheels so people could stop figuring this hack out, but you could still do it. It's just gonna be a little bit more finicky. So if you have any of the Explore series, this will work just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right under the feet as if it was on a mat. Make sure that it's lined up perfectly. The reason I like it on the Explore series is with the new Cricut Joy, the wheels are already rolling and there's a lot of room for error if you accidentally get it in crooked because it'll pull it in crooked. Whereas with this, I can make sure it's lined up. I can push these down just a little bit under that. If you are using a roll that is very curly, I would just watch it a little bit in the back because it'll start to curl and it, it doesn't ruin it, but it starts to get kind of caught back there. So you just kind of got to watch it in the back a little bit. I'm just going to cut out Mickey. That's what we're doing for this whole series today. So I have been putting up videos on other things, debunking other things today. If you want to watch those, I talked about smart iron on smart vinyl. Are they really smart? My actual thoughts on the new Cricut Joy if you wanna watch this. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure they're pressed firmly and evenly against them, something you can't do on that machine, and click the load button. I am gonna make sure it loaded good well, loaded well, before I click the Cricut button, the cutting button, because 
I wanna make sure that it's not gonna get wonky, which it can do. So just be forewarned. So I am not cutting it. This is the Explorer 2, so this cuts twice as fast, but you don't have to use that option. I'm not gonna use that here because this is a little delicate. So you want it to be right, and you don't wanna go crazy with it. So I'm just cutting Mickey out right now, so it's not so crazy. All right, let's pray it works. I haven't used the Cricut brand glitter HTV on this yet, and I actually have it on iron-on setting because I accidentally forgot to change it over. You hear that? It's hitting in the back back here. Um, I forgot to change it over, but it worked. So it made me wonder is, okay, so this is curling on us. I had a feeling, I had a feeling. So if you have that curliness going, it might get stuck. So where's my Mickey that I just cut with this? So I did just cut this one out with Caesar, but this was curly too. So you really have to babysit this. And this video might be how to unjam your machine. <laughs> Again, so you can cut without a mat. There's other people who have those videos on the internet, but I'm the only one daring enough to do it live, right? So let's turn it off. This now is how to unjam your machine when you're trying to do a cricket hack. It's okay. So what do I do? I turn it on and it's gonna go, and it's gonna kick it out of there. So this is why I'm doing these things. You don't waste your life. So it did cut half of Mickey, but it really did get caught on the back. So let's, you guys wanna try it with some Caesar and see it work with Caesar. Um, cause it, for some reason, crickets just wanted to curl up on us. And because, so because the roll's going this way and I cut it and this is the lengthwise, these little corners are probably getting stuck back there. So I could just try it with the 12 incher and under the two rolls if you want me to try that. This has been cut on something before, but let's just try it under the two rolls and see how well it cuts that way. So this is not, this is just that standard 12 inch side and we're gonna try that and we're also using this is Caesar so just be forewarned two different brands but again it's not curling this way and that way it's curling this way because we're using the actual raw edge that 12 inch edge but there's more room for error because it's only under two wheels but I'm gonna try it this is how Mr. Crafty Pants did it in his video so and uh Expressions Vinyl also has a video on how to do this if you wanna see someone do it. But I'm doing it live to show you guys there is room for error on doing these hacks. Um, but it's not new technology, just saying that. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put it to custom and I'm gonna change it to glitter iron on just so that we have it on glitter iron on. Uh, oh, Bluetooth doesn't wanna work now, joy. All right. Connect, select device. So I always talk about how my Air 2 connects to Bluetooth like pristine. That's why I use it in live videos. Um, but now I have, I'm going between these two machines. So I'm like, ooh, that's a good test. How well is it? Is it gonna do its thing? Oh, you know what might've happened? It might've disconnected when it got jammed. Again, I'm doing this for you guys. If you don't wanna do this hack because of this video, that's on you. But I just wanted to do it because you guys have been asking me to do this hack. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go back in the project. Oh, now it wants to connect, okay? So let's reload this bad boy. Make sure it's under those two gray wheels evenly and load. So I have it on custom. I'm gonna click glitter iron on and I'm gonna, so this would be a lot easier to do a small cut, but then you're using a big product. So you're like, is that worth it? Do I want to do that? I've never been one to say don't use a mat, but I did want you to know it's, it's not new. Like you can not use a mat. Okay, so it scares me when it goes back to the back because it has to feed through there. Okay, it worked fine. This one worked fine. Did not jam it. it. has nothing to do with if it's Caesar, but again, I didn't cut this one to 13 inches. I'm just using it at 12 inches right under those two gray wheels, not all four wheels. So um, you definitely can, you just have to be careful. All right, 
You guys ready? So I just didn't want to show you that I did it successfully and not prove it. So I'm going to weed him out like this because I don't want to waste HTV. And I can use this like a sticker kind of. But I can I can iron this on to something without... Um, I ripped his leg off. No, I didn't. Stop freaking out. I did not rip his leg off. Okay. So I want what do I, what do I want so I wouldn't recommend doing this but since he's one solid piece you can weed him out and then I could iron him onto something like this so there's our Mickey and he's glitter HTV and he was cut without a mat but this was Caesar um we could try crickets again but cutting it with just that 12 inch roll let's just try it since this is already 12 inches it's gonna cut over the mickey we already did but at least we'll try it with the 12 inches so you can see if you can use it but it's very curly and that comes with um them using inserts to roll their htv and vinyl around it really makes your product curl a lot more than when we do sheets which we sell sheets and then if you buy anything over the 12 inches it's rolls but we don't roll it tightly around a piece of cardboard one less garbage for the environment and two um it doesn't have uh that tight rolled it's been sitting in a package for years on a roll type situation going on so i'm gonna try with the cricket and um this was my softball color, huh? Hopefully I have more. I think I have a lot more of this color, of the other color. Um, but that's okay. It's for you guys. It's not for anybody else. All right. Uh, plus my girls are getting so old they don't want softball bows very much anymore. Okay, so we're going to do it with the Cricut and Cricut cutting glitter iron-on. And I, it's only under the two gray rolls, not all four rolls and let's cut it and see if it works. I have a feeling it will, but it is a little bit more curly, so we'll see. Is any of this making sense? Do I, am I making sense today? Okay, so it did fold. I had to pull it back here, so I'm gonna have to babysit this one a lot. So it's rolling, it's rolling under there. Don't do this, don't try this at home unless you're like willing to, I don't know, so. I like using a mat. I'm not against using a mat. I just wanted you to know that you can do this without a mat. I don't ever really do this for fun. Um, but if it had the ability to cut 20 feet and do this, then I definitely would be doing it. Um, but for things smaller than 20, 20 feet or super long, I don't find a need. And I mean, it does save time. So if you're cutting something simple and you're using a sheet, I don't know, well, you be the you be the judge. Okay, so here's crickets, and it worked out fine. I just had to babysit that back so it didn't come out. And he's cut twice, because I cut him, remember? I cut him this way originally, and then I cut him this way. So it does work perfectly. <laughs> no, it works pretty good, um, even if it's just under those two rolls. So if you don't want to cut it down to the 13 inches, you can do that as well. Not sure if this review was helpful, but I knew that you guys wanted to see it, so I chose to put it on the internet. Okay, my goal today is to be done making Cricut tutorials for a while because I got the Silhouette Cameo 4 and I'm gonna be learning it and I'm gonna be doing some beginner tutorials on that and trying to go live with you guys learning it. So um, look for those. But today I'm putting up random things that you guys have been asking me and things that I think need to be out there because nobody else has the guts to say it right now because um, they're all afraid that Cricket's going to get mad at them. And I'm not. So I'm like, hey, listen up. I, I, I can go all day with different products. Like there's lots of things. Like people keep saying, oh, it's just like how Apple comes out with a new phone. Yes, it is. And that's annoying. But, um, but yeah, people drink the Kool-Aid. So I do. I know there's a lot about lots of products that are annoying. But that's what it is. You're welcome for my honesty. It's honest Tay now because that's all I can offer. I got nothing to lose up in that. In that. That's, the, that's the perks of having my own membership and my own products that I sell and I can change those to any new product whatever, whenever I want. Um, so I did that for you guys. Again, I'm not sure if I'll be sharing the full story in a video, but a lot of people have heard a lot about what 
I'm talking about and uh, because I just mentioned stuff, but I'm just not gonna not talk about it anymore. If it comes up, I'll tell you guys what happened or what has happened. It's nothing crazy bad. It's just, it was my choice to not work with them. Um, and honestly, because literally the videos that would be going up today about this machine might look like everybody else's videos and nobody else is willing to stand up and make videos like that right now. And I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm putting you guys first in this. So, all right, I'm acting like it's the end of the world. And if I don't do this, it's not going to be like, it's not, it's really just, it's kind of entertaining to me right now because I'm like, well, nobody else is doing this. So here I am on the internet doing the honest videos. All right. Thanks. All right. If you guys want to see a full unboxing of that thing with me and my daughter last night, we got crazy for an hour and a half talking about all the things. We both like it. We like it a lot, but we love this one better. Okay. This has been my gig since before I changed my branding over. So this has my old branding on it. I've gotten the maker since then. I had the ability to make a ton of money promoting that machine and I stopped. It was one of the reasons they were like, we want you to promote the maker more. I was like, mm -mm, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. This does. Um, so I'm not going to stop saying that this is my favorite machine. So if someone has limited space, this machine works for them. Hashtag like me. Yep. And there's lots of reasons why people are going to want that machine. And I'm not against you getting it. I just want you to know what I know so that you go into it, um, completely informed. Whatever's sticking out of this is bugging me. I'll fix it. So if you guys want to see my scrap box tour, it's coming. It, it's in the editor's room, so it's getting edited. Um, but I uh, I did a review on this. It's, again, an honest review. I'm kind of scared to put it on the internet, but I am, I am embracing the honest reviews. Uh, but I did do how I decorated it and all that stuff, so it's really cute. It's super cute. I love it. All right. Bye, guys.